Hey everyone, I just thought I'd provide a quick guide on using some of the advanced search capabilities of PubMed to help you find a review article. So what we've been doing, we've been looking at this data from the NHNMRC here, which gives us lots of really good information about key authors that we're interested in. So we've, so, and I've highlighted a row here of one author. So I've effectively just looked at the field of research here and chosen cancer genetics and chosen cancer genetics. And then I've done a quick search here to um, look for colon cancer. And I found one person here doing some some research that I might be interested in. So um, I've taken this person's um, name and I'm gonna do a, a, a search in PubMed. So, so here's the name and I know they're from Melbourne University and I've done a quick search. Okay, so I've got a bunch of articles here and these, as you can see, are research articles. So I now want to focus in to find some review articles. So there's a bunch of papers that are got molecular detail. So there's some genes or risk factors here. And there's a talk of DNA methylation, which is a very molecular process. And, you know, you can just quickly browse whatever papers you may have and identify papers with um, molecular detail in them. All right, so now I want to build on this information to do a PubMed search. So let's do a, a search now, another one, to um, see if we can find a review article that builds upon some of these papers we found. So again, go back into PubMed. Um, I'm going to do an advanced search, but I'll go in through the normal window here and then advanced, which is where we want to go. Now, this is where we can start to build our search. So before I focus in on the, those key molecular details, I'm going to start broad and then make it more focused. So I'm going to type directly into the query box here. So it's, um, so it's colon cancer. Um, now, is colon cancer known by other things? Well, it could be known by, so or, um, colorectal. So there's a few, you've got to be careful that you don't limit your search by being too specific. Try and capture the thing you're looking for. So here's the start of a search, and I'm going to add that to a history. Okay, so now I've got the beginning of my query here. So the other thing I'm interested in, I'm not quite sure what to follow here, but um, I could go for a specific gene or I could go for a, a particular process. I'm going to start off by going for a process. So DNA methylation sounds interesting. So I'm going to put in here um, DNA DNA methylation or what else could I could I look for a review article on? So DNA methylation, um, risk loci, um, risk variants, um, associated. So there's a lot of associated screens and risk factors coming up here. Um, particular genes. So um, new loci. So looks like loci or risk factors might be good. So. Let's just try that. So um, let's put loci. Um, okay, and then we'll add that to the history. Okay, so big numbers here. I've got 200,000 of each of those. Um, if I were to do an intersection between the two, it's probably not going to come down more than tenfold. So that's still going to give me many thousands. But let's have a look here. So I've added the first... Um, term to my query box. Now this time when I click on this button, I can do an and. So the first term and the second term. So um, the intersection of the two. 
and then I'll search for that. So, okay, that's good. So we had um, 200,000 of each and now we're down to 5,000, okay? Now we can start to just tweak the search. I mean, there's not gonna be much. Let, let's try and keep it fairly relevant to where we are now. So maybe past five years. Um, I think there's also a button here we can go five years. So same thing. Um, it's nice to have the full text available so we can read the paper. And where are we up to? So we've got a thousand now. So we've gone from 5,000 to 1,000. And also we're looking for reviews. Okay, so let's see what systematic review gives us first. 30 papers, and that I can read through a list of 30, 30 titles and make a decision of what's useful. So DM, DNA methylation based biomarkers in colorectal cancer. Okay, now that overlaps nicely with these kinds of papers that I was looking at here. DNA methylation um, in, um, in, in, in cancer, okay? And what else have we got in this list? More methylation, methylation. So there's lots of methylation articles here, so I could be, I could choose one of those to read. Um, all right, and so if there was another paper that was of interest, say I'm looking at a, say I had a particular interest in a particular gene. So I'm looking for a particular gene to chase up here. Okay, these look like genes. I'm not genes I'm familiar with, but let's see if we can get anything out of these. So poll or poll D1. So go back to here. Um, the old search is still there. So it was um, poll or poll D1. Um, I guess or, and we're not gonna search it, we're gonna add to the history. Okay, so there's not a lot of research on these genes. I mean, there's a fair bit, but it's not overwhelming. Um, if we do an intersection of these two, then we're including that methylation stuff, which which is different from this. So we need to go back to the, the, the general search and then bring in the poll. This one, right at the beginning. And this one here. Let's see what that gives us. I mean, there's no guarantee that it'll work, but let's have a look. Okay, we've got two papers. So I don't think either of those review articles is particularly good. So I'm gonna go back to my search term here. And I'm gonna go back to my list. I'm gonna search for something else. Um, so say I was interested in mismatch repair gene mutations, so mismatch repair. That might be an interesting thing to, to look for. So um, so let's enter that term. And then I'll do a combination of the broad search term with this more specific one, and I'll add and then let's just see what we get. So 20, so um, immunotherapy. So here we have some DNA repair genes in colorectal, colorectal cancer, a systematic review. So that looks like it's a good hit. So, so by using the advanced search tools, we've been able to um, pick through some of the papers that we were interested in in our first search when we were searching by author and institute. And then we've taken some key information from those papers and we found some overlapping review articles, okay? If you were just to um, use a broad term like this and do a search and then look through these and say, oh, um, here's one, colorectal cancer, BRCA1, BRCA2, that's really good. I know about these, I know about this, let's do that paper. Then what you've done, you've taken a huge tangent away from your research papers, that, which is the Australian focus, okay? So 
this it's a good research paper it's a good review paper but it's not going to be relevant to the papers that your Australian researcher is um, it's not the same content okay so you need to use keywords from these papers from the Australian papers when you do your search otherwise you're going to find a paper like this that has no overlap with the research work that's being carried out by the Australian authors that you're pursuing and that's not going to make for a good essay because you've got a, re a review article here that doesn't overlap with your research um, papers okay so you need to have a good overlap between the two so you need to be using keywords from these papers when you're doing a search okay otherwise if you just do a broad search that doesn't include any key information from the papers here then you're not going to find review articles that include any key research from those papers all right i hope that helps good luck